Hi guys, Dave and Tex here, and this is going to be known as Follow Up Fridays. All right. So from now on, uh, I'm going to try to finish up all projects by Friday. So that if you're in the middle of a modification, you don't get stuck waiting for the weekend or after the weekend to see how to finish it. You know, basically, sorry about that, guys. I wasn't thinking. Um, I really didn't think people, people follow me that closely, but it seems that they do, and they want to know how to finish these jobs. So, her has brought to my attention that a lot of people can't do hand filing, right? So they need advice to make sure it's done properly, and they're afraid to do it by hand, screwing it up. Okay, now, first trick if you're going to do it in advice is you need to get a vice jig. See this piece of plastic? Not the middle underneath, not the bone nut, the V-shaped plastic. That's a vice jig. It goes into all metal vices, wood vices, and it's there to hold the product inside the vise that you don't want to be damaged by the uh, straight edges of the vise or the uh, wood on a vise and uh, scar it up or mark it, right? And it's also there to put equal pressure on the uh, product inside the vise so you don't crack it, like this uh, bone nut, which if you put into, inside a vise, tighten it down, you're going to crack it. And sponges, and tape don't work guys trust me this ruins the nut so go to the hardware store get a vice jig cost about ten dollars you know trust me you can't make one of these things out of a tire <laughs> uh, go ahead and do your filing work job done All right okay dope. next on the agenda uh, yes they still make these funky picks all right, several different makers of them. Uh, darnest thing is that um, they're the most flippy pick I've ever played with. They're like a 10. Instead of 30 being a thin, this is a 10. And uh, these are meant for new guitars, I believe, mainly. Uh, or 12 string, maybe. It's just they're so flippy, unbelievable flippy. <laughs> so in the hands of a little child, these must be huge. Because they're, they're big in my hands. My hands are gigantic. You know, it's like, damn, that's a big pick. And they're made by a bunch of people. Uh, can't give you the brand name, but a lot of companies make them. Okay? And you can buy them individually at most guitar stores. However, some will only sell you uh, groups like this, 12 and 30, 50 at a time at the guitar store or guitar center. You know, they don't sell you just one pick. All right. I say you have dozens of them, but you don't need. Unless you're constantly losing them like I do, then you need them. Now, next, I'm going to show you or talk about the little Fender. All right, the little tell the Chillicaster. Sorry, the Chillicaster is finished. It's all said and done, guys. However, the problem is, a friend came by this morning and bought it for a gig he's got this weekend. So, I'm going to show you the next best thing. It's a finished chicken backer. Alright, see that? Give you a chance to focus. That nut is too wide for the chicken backer, and there's a lot of excess glue. Now, that gorilla glue, thankfully, once you take a nice sharp blade to it, it cracks and just flies right off. No problemo. Alright. Also, on this setup, I got the E string a little bit on the thin side, so I may need to do some shaving work to it. Let's just check and see. And, no, well, maybe not. Anyway, you can't just use the strings themselves to tighten down on these nuts. You follow me? Alright? So, what I did, I got what's known as a needle nose vice grip. And you tighten down the strings themselves right before the nut, you know, tight, tight. That way it makes sure to hold it. And the strength of the holes coming from behind the nut on your tuner, the, the string on your tuner to the nut itself, and then the strength of the vice grip pushing down holds the nut in perfect position. It won't slide as the thing cures, right? So in this case, this is a 33 millimeter, which unfortunately, uh, this is a 32 and a half uh, neck. They don't make 32 and a half, so there's going to be a little bit of error there. Then you got to correct with some, you know, final work. You know, that's a final new little spot for that E string. 
the Jason's rule one I've already done, but it was there. Uh, we'll have to check and see once I start playing it. Now, uh, the bone versus that tur the Tursk plastic fake ivory is night, it's night and day. It sounds so much better on that Fender, you would not believe it. And as soon as I get it back, I'll record it for you and let you hear how it sounds like. I've got a sound bite on it. i got a sound bite on the chicken backer so that you can hear the difference. It does make a difference. It does sound better. Now, lastly, I've got the uh, question about this stand, of all things. And I'm going to do a little camera magic here and see if that works without messing anything up. Last time I cut the audio. Let's see. I'm going to switch my cameras so I don't have to take one off the stand and show you. Yeah, there we go. And it's still recording. Okay, I'm showing you the uh, stand I bought when I bought the uh, new live, uh, Microsoft Live Cam Studio. And as you can see, it's a much better camera than the one I'm holding in my hands, which is the Live Cam 5000. The stand comes with a little uh, leveler, which is obviously not level at the moment. But uh, it has a three-way tightening, has a three-way rotation, expands up to uh, about five feet, right, to the very top of the camera, which for a tiny one, a thin one, and lightweight, that's not bad. However, it's very flimsy, so you got to be careful with it. You don't want to bend it for 25 bucks, not bad, and ta-da, it comes with its own carry bag, right? It's a shoulder strap, I think. All right, see that? Shoulder strap. So you can throw your little stand in there, put your little laptop in your carry bag, and knock yourself out doing birds in uh, Africa, <laughs> out in the nasty bush, which I will not be in. So, let's go back to the other camera. Come on, baby, let's go back to the other camera. All right, bingo. And there we are. That's follow-up Fridays, or finish-up Fridays, whatever I want to call it. All right. Any questions about this or any other projects I'm working on or worked on in the past, be sure to write because I sure and do enjoy it. answering those you know, questions you have for me. Uh, Dave and Tex, have a good weekend. Bye.